Hey, I'm new to the ruckus world. I've just uh, got this. A buddy of mine's having a problem. And I work on a lot of mowers and tractors and things like that. A few bikes here and there. I build motorized bikes and stuff, but never worked on this ruckus. Uh, just got a couple issues going on here. This His complaint here is that uh, it's bogging. Uh, when he gives a throttle and he took it to some power equipment uh, service dealer and they put a new carburetor on her, a different carburetor or did something and uh, I guess it worked for a couple weeks and now same issue so I when I first checked uh, took some of these cowlings off I checked the battery it was at 2 volts so it wouldn't crank but uh, so I knew the battery is pretty dead. Um, I went and checked the spark, even with the kick, kick start, didn't have spark. So I put a jumper power onto the battery post terminals there and w doing that, it would uh, crank with, the, with this starter button and create spark at the plug. So that, it does have spark. Then I went and checked the compression I took the plug out. I have a compression tester, you know, the standard, uh, you know, little compression tester gauge thing. Where is it laying around here? Yeah. I used that, you know, plugged that in a spark plug hole, kicked it over, and with the uh, electric start, cranked it over, and I was only able to get like 30 PSI. That's as high as it went. That's with throttle open, throttle close, whatever. That's the highest I could get, um, 30 PSI. So, um, then I took off the air cleaner cover, and because it wasn't popping or anything, even when I got it to crank over, uh, until I took off the air cleaner cover here, I sprayed a little starter fluid in there, and it would run um, just long enough to burn off the starter fluid that I just sprayed in there. But, you know, that's, uh, so it's either like fuel delivery issue, or, I mean, if it's only got 30 PSI, um, it's got to be some kind of, com you know, lack of compression or compression is uh, getting by uh, somewhere, or valves or whatever out of adjustment. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was just saying it was lacking power. Um, and also on this one, there, when I took the cowling, the cowlings off and stuff, this wire was just kind of like laying up in here. I don't know what this would be for, but... If I follow the orange and yellow wire here underneath the tank there, kind of going up, comes up here. Eventually, this yellow and orange wire looks like it goes to this, uh, yeah, it goes into this red box here. So, I don't know what that's for. Is that for a diagnostic port? I don't know. I just downloaded the manual for this yesterday for, uh... I think this is like a 2009 uh, to get some more information on it. I, it's like 300 page manual. I can't even find uh, how to adjust the valves in that thing. I found a good YouTube video, but uh, the service manual doesn't even have any freaking information on uh, valve adjustment for this thing. It's got a lot of stuff about taking them off and measuring the margins and uh, you know doing all these measurements but uh it doesn't have anything about the actual valve adjustments and i know there if you decide to do it it comes with like a shim kit um and maybe you even need a special tool or two which i don't have so if anybody knows anything about this you know with like the lack of compression and uh where this where this might supposed to be plugging into uh That'd be appreciated. Thank you.